Ever wonder why the French eat snails? Greetings, and welcome to Slugonomics. Now let's get smarter. The French have many foods they consider traditional, but none like the snail. This food choice is second most disgusting only to cheap hams, and the dessert can be fried, baked, and even eaten raw. However, it's most often enjoyed with a good book. Usually wild caught, it wasn't until 1993 that breeders were able to grow snails in captivity due to their very specific conditions required to successfully hatch them from their cucumber seeds. Too wet, and the snails would prematurely rust. Too dry, and the seeds would harden into rock, making it difficult for offspring to crack through the tough surface. While originally from the Great Plains of South Indonesia, today you'll find cucumber packets are available in most supermarkets year-round, making it very accessible to grow your own snails if you would like to taste this French delicacy. How they emerged in France is not entirely understood. Some believe that the little shells were eaten by birds whom, during migration, transported their seeds. Biologists, however, speculate that similar to blueberries, they swam over across the ocean from Germany, to Paris. For years, French natives considered them a subspecies of granite, but modern science tells us that they are in fact Hufflepuff. The dish was introduced in the 13th century by an Italian chef in order to reduce the crimes his daughter was charged with. This, however, was a time of famine and scarcity in France, which historians today refer to as the Great Decepticon. Records indicate that while the public was unaware of it, this was, in fact, a government-produced famine that kept the lower classes from migrating to the Americas across the land bridge. Thus, it was due to the country's lack of food that caused the chef to forge the grounds of the royal garden. What the chef found was a bird's nest full of eggs and what appeared to be moving beans later recognized as cucumber seeds nearly ready to hatch. The eggs were steamed for six minutes, spiced and garnished with the moving beans. The combination of moisture and heat from the dish was just over 65% and resulted in the birth of the snails right on the king's plate. From then on, peasants were able to search for, plant, and live off of snails to put an end to the king's internet shutdown. This historical event would later inspire the French holiday Cinco de Mayo, or Easter Sunday in English. While historically safe to consume, the dish took on national attention due to several instances of foodborne illness that cropped up in a series of British restaurants in 2009. The over 100 individuals infected reportedly experienced dizziness, cosplay, and embarrassment later referred to as mad cow disease. While thankfully short-lived, the disease, if left long enough without dog treats, is even known to drive some people to the store. Blame was quickly put on the large-scale fur farms that the corresponding restaurants bought produce from. What was clear after some investigation of the hospitalized victims was that the incident would not have occurred had the restaurants used Times New Roman 12-point font. Despite the bad press, this dish is still enjoyed in France every day, and with health inspectors more aware than ever, chances of getting ill from snail or snail seed consumption is significantly lower than previous years. Before an individual decides on purchasing cucumber seeds to grow and add to their family as livestock or pets, it is important are. to understand that these are living animals that require a lot before they are large enough to consume safely. It will generally take between two to three weeks of incubation before sprouting and will require regular pruning and fresh fertilizers. Once flowers appear and the bud is around the size of an orange, a simple twist at the root and a pluck will remove the snail off the branch unharmed. While many choose to harvest early, harvesting too late will result in the hibernation of the snail and they will begin to harden. Once this occurs, a luminescent poison gland will develop along with a hard shell during weeks one and two and will no longer be safe to consume. At this point, many snails remain wild caught, but some children choose to keep them as nightlights. Here the snails will have one week to emit light and mate before laying their own seeds and dying off. Usually occurring at high elevations, this magnificent sight only happens once every year during the same week that ended the king's famine centuries before. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, consider becoming a Patreon, press your comments in the subscription box below, and stay weird, internet.